It's a little bit bigger storm than we anticipated. <laughs> what is going on guys? It's Brandon J and today me and my puppy Reef are gonna be staying on this boat right here behind us through the night while Hurricane Etta is coming through. That's right, we're gonna be on a boat overnight while Hurricane Etta comes through. Now, it's not raining right now because we're in between bands, but as you can see with the flag on my boat, the wind is roaring. So, me and this little guy are gonna see if we can make it through the night, which I'm sure we will. I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't put his life at danger. I might put mine, but not his. <laughs> While we're out here, we're gonna experience a bunch of rain. The good news is my boat actually has a cabin on the inside of it. Now. I haven't really tested it in the rain or see how waterproof it is, but we can get shelter in there and there shouldn't be too much lightning. So ultimately it's not gonna be as dangerous as it seems. We didn't really prepare for this and we kind of had this idea last minute and we found this backpack and this basically has everything we need for survival. It has food, water, a whole bunch of gear. So today we really only have this as our equipment as far as like food and water goes. We didn't really plan for this. You're up first. Go ahead, bud. All right, take over. <laughs> this is gonna be insane man all right so we have a couple of things with us here you guys will see it's just like lights and stuff it just helps for filming but as far as like the food and stuff goes whatever is in this bag is all we got reef what do you think you think we're gonna be good by the way if you guys uh notice i switched his patches they used to say service dog now they just say in training because pups gotta learn a lot <laughs> all right reef let's see what we got man all right bad sign is empty <laughs> bad sign Oh yeah, check that out. So, looks like that's uh, solid fuel tabs. Oh, we got a huge bag. This is our food right here, we'll check that out. Water, this is just a container of water. Reef, you can't be chewing on the camera, man. We, we got to actually use that to film all this, you know? That feels pretty empty. I think that that is gonna be it. So, all right, first up, we have all of our water. Second up, looks like we have our meals here. Let's see what we got in here. Brown sugar, maple multigrain. We got creamy pasta and vegetables. Apple cinnamon cereal, whey milk alternate, Southwest rice and beans. That's the food we got. Reef, you cannot eat the water, bro. You're literally surrounded by water, but this is good water. This is what we need. All right, so that's our food and water. Reef, I promise I'll give you some. Looks like we have a little bit of a cup. A five function whistle, interesting. Emergency rain poncho. We're gonna need that one. That is, <laughs> that is a major win for us. I probably will be wearing this. So we actually have quite a bit of stuff in this bag. Uh, my cameraman Travis, who is holding the camera right now, he is actually gonna be bouncing. Uh, so it's literally just gonna be me and the pup tonight. I just have Travis helping me out right now. Looks like Reef is already having a good time playing with the cards and the cup. You want the cup? This beautiful American flag is gonna be our window meter. It's gonna tell you how much wind is going throughout the video. So right here is our radar. It's actually pretty bad. So I don't know if you can see, this little dot is where we are and all of this is Hurricane Etta. And Hurricane Etta is actually rated right now at a category one hurricane. So not the biggest hurricane in the world, but it is still gonna be like 50 to 70 mile an hour winds, which is a lot. So. We are gonna be anchored out in the middle. Um, we also have power poles, but we're using the power poles right now and they're kind of flexing based on the amount of wind. This thing is huge and it just like a, it's like a sailboat almost, man. It's just like a ton of wind. Uh, so I don't think the power poles will be strong enough when we start getting in that like 50, 60 mile an hour wind, but for right now it'll work. Now, look at that, we got lights. Now this right here, uh, it's big enough to sleep a few people um, we have a window here. We've got windows here. I don't know how we're gonna ventilate this when the rain comes in because I want to close it all up But also I can remove all of these and I have like a giant area down here I can remove all this. There's actually a bathroom in here and everything So we should be good to go and have enough shelter, but again, this is all a test So I have no idea we might actually have to cook our dinner inside here, but um With that being said, I think Travis, I think it's time for you to Take your ride home and me and Reef are gonna bear the storm. Good luck. Thank you, man. I'm gonna need it. Dude, this is gonna be so legendary if, you, if I get this. It will like make me waterproof. This will be sick. If you couldn't tell, rain's here. <laughs> but bro, I just happened to bring these. I've never used them. It's They've never been used. And 
we're just throwing them together, bro. That goes on the front. Let's close this back in so when the rain really starts, we'll be good. <laughs> bro, it's gonna be closed. It's gonna be closed. I could sleep on the floor of the boat right here and be fine tonight. Holy crap, we did it. We freaking did it. Dude, just take a, a quick glance around. Look at that. Totally covered. 100% rain protection. We're gonna be way bigger of a sail with this though. We do have some random open spots like these corners, which I think this is what that folds down for. That might work. So. I wasn't even expecting this was a bonus. I, I promise you, I did not even know we had this as an option. And now look at us go. This is going to be perfect. Reef, we're going to be good, baby. All night. Unless mom comes and gets you. If she gets too scared, she might. That's a possibility. <laughs> just be me on my lonesome, just out here eating cinnamon toast crunch or whatever that was. All we'll right. see you later, man. Be safe. Have fun. I'll try my best, bro. <laughs> All right, baby. It's hurricane time. We got a little bit of sprinkling, a little bit of rain, but look at my baby, dude. She is weather sealed. I didn't even know this was an option. I cannot tell you how stoked I am. This is already turning off, turning off. This is already turning out extremely well. Re, come on, let's show them. Let's show them what we got. So we've got this up here. This is actually a zip up option. Now, mind you, I didn't know this was actually this cool when I even had this boat. So this is a zip up option. So if I do want some air, that's perfect. This is all closed off here, which is great. You even come around to the back and you can see I have like the door unzipped a little bit. And uh, it's all closed off on this side as well. Going here. Good boy. Good boy, Reef. We're safe. We're safe, boy. And we are in reverse. Making our journey through the night. It's probably gonna get pretty bad, um, but and hey, like <laughs> we knew that when we decided to come out here. So I'm telling you, man, this close-in area is like total, total, total game changer. This just makes everything like a thousand times better. We're gonna be going through this canal. GoPro does terrible in low light, so I mega apologize, but I'm working with what I got right now. Uh, this just feels like a bad idea, but we're gonna go for it, why not? I think it's gonna look really cool. If we don't lose the drone, that's like obviously the only main thing. Here we go. Woo! Dude. Oh gosh. That's sick, we got it, baby. getting seasick it's like so much waves it's pretty ridiculous to be honest it's uh way more calm over here passed out on the camera buddy what's up man what's up pup you passed out on my camera you like that microphone <laughs> i know i know bud you're exhausted you're exhausted i know good boy you're a good boy laying on daddy's camera <laughs> That's all right, Pope. You stay comfortable. All right, guys. We gotta say uh, bye to Reef for right now. He's here. With a, he's gonna get his mama. Mama's gonna come pick him up. Reef. He's tired anyway. Look at him. He's exhausted. He's freaking exhausted. I know you're tired, bud. Let's get you home. You see her? It's your mama. Here you go, babe. I know it. All right. He's probably uh, way better in your hands than he is in mine. So. <laughs> He just slept, man. He's exhausted, honestly. Uh, no, I got his dinner in the truck. 
So I'm not gonna lie, starting to get a little bit hungry and I really wanna eat before we get to the worst stuff. We've already got some pretty serious gusts right now. Um, so let's go ahead and dig into the uh, survival bag. We got some serious rain going on. So I'm gonna see if I can cook in this like lower area here. Um, but I gotta get some food, man. I'm like actually really hungry. There we go. Hopefully that is gonna work as far as lighting goes. Okay, so we've got uh, this bag here. And uh, yeah, gosh, we have so much stuff. I'm thinking brown sugar, maple, multigrain, whey milk alternative. Not, that does not sound good. That's gonna be the no pile. Apple cinnamon cereal. That sounds good. Creamy pasta and vegetables. This sounds like dinner and I need dinner. So we're gonna use that one, um, figure out, that's a light. This is a collapse. This is a collapsible small stove right here. So we're gonna see if we can use that. Uh, is that the whole stove? Probably cook it in this cup. Looks like we have directions on stuff here. Check that out. Emergency drinking water. It says it on the back. It's kind of cool. Drink minimum of two bags per person per day for marine emergencies. Drink water as needed for land-based emergencies. Avoid conditions which cause sweating and increased thirst. Discard bag if air or water escapes when squeezed oh i didn't test that okay that's it tastes like dasani that actually had a little bit more of a bag flavor to it i also is very difficult to drink out of a bag if i was a survival situation i'd be dead already SOS water. Pretty solid. Not gonna lie, it was pretty refreshing. Hopefully that helps with like the seasickness I'm experiencing. Woo! Look at that. We got freaking fire, baby. Now it might completely melt my Yeti box. I have no idea, but look at that. We're gonna put this cup on there. And we're gonna boil up some water. That's gonna give us dinner right there, baby. It might be a little too much, huh? What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Put uh, one little thing of water. The SOS water again. Put a little bit more. Alright, well. Looks like we got some bubbles in there. Let's go ahead and add the noodles. We can only really add a little bit here. Oh, no! There's a patch in there. I don't know what the hell that was. Woo! All right. Got that. Wow. Look at that, man. That is so freaking awesome. All right, so here's the deal. I don't have any silverware, so... I do have this wrench though, and I'm supposed to just stir this occasionally. That's what we got. That's what we got. It's cooled down enough. Bottom of the cup's still hot, so figured. Bon appetit. Really, uh, oh, we got a pea on that one. We got peas, carrots, noodles. I forget what this meal even is, but. I'm sorry if this looks super gross. All right, so um, as you can see, this is Florida. This dot right here is where we are. And that is basically what the storm is doing. So we uh, got past a little bit of yellow already and we've got this big storm coming down here, but fatal. Fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. Ah. Oh. Dude, at least it landed upright. I can't even make this up. I moved my camera right after the last clip and all of it fell.
conserving some boat battery, turning off all the lights for a bit, just kind of cruising. By cruising, I mean flopping around in the waves. But winds picked up a little bit. It's got kind of cold. I got chill bumps. But yeah, still here. <laughs> Ice and full from that meal. This man don't care about no hurricane. What's up? No hurricane, my dude. How's it going? Guys, this is uh, my best friend Hudson. He just got off work. <laughs> he made me come down to the boat ramp. And uh, dude, brought me some Chick-fil-A. This oh, is a I'm surprise. I'm telling you right there, there's enough for both of us all night. We do it. We do it. <laughs> so I didn't ask him to bring food or anything, but but I did call him and told him I'd drop my, uh, my only bit of food I had. I still had to munch down on that. But dude, this is going to make my day so much better, bro. Oh, Thank you so much. What is in there? Cobb salad, no tomatoes, large lemonade with the avocado lime ranch because I know my boy. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're a godsend. There's a storm out there, Jimmy. It is kind of crazy. Though. It's just wetting my titties. <laughs> it's just wetting face and titties. I'm just getting moist. Wind detector check. All right, looks like we still got wind. <laughs> All right, so I uh, every time I turn like the flash on on the phone, it's just like. It's a, li a little too bright. It kind of blows out like the eeriness of what's going on. So but that wind is ripping. Yeah, this is like the deal right here. This is what it actually looks like. We got the flag, <laughs> our our wind detector letting us know it's windy. But uh, Hunt, I wanted to hear your thoughts, man. What do you think about this, really? I don't think this was a great idea for you to try to do tonight. But dude, if you could see the background moving behind you, Rose, I whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think that this is about as Florida man as you can get. Yeah. Everybody headlines all over the world. Florida man does this. Florida man decides that he wants to stay the night on his boat in the lake in a hurricane. Yeah. And then Florida man's friend decides to bring him something to eat. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Fist bump, bro. Fist bump. Holy <laughs> boy, she's ripping, man. Oh, now, son. She's ripping, son. God dang. Oh, my God. It's so eerie, dude. It's ripping. It is so eerie. I wish you guys could see how bad the boat is rocking. It is rocking so bad and it's so loud. The wind's hitting this side. So loud. Remember I was like, bro, I think the anchor's like in not, there. No, no. Remember I was like, I think we're like pulling the anchor because we we like we're. I thought we were drifting. Yeah, we weren't. <laughs> we definitely weren't. In the <laughs> 25 miles. <laughs> bro, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my dude. Thank Be you, bro. Safe. I'll try my best. <laughs> See you, man. Anybody call me if you need a rescue. I'll come get you. All right, thank you. All right. I think uh, we're gonna call it a night. Get pretty tired. It's pretty late, and I got a full stomach thanks to Hudson. He brought me some really good food, and now I think we're gonna anchor up for the night. We're probably gonna anchor up on the smaller lake because it's more surrounded, and I won't get beat up by wind and waves. Continue through Friday, followed by a turn to the east along with a slowing of the forward motion. Maximum sustained winds are near 60 miles per hour with higher gusts. Only slight weakening is expected over the next couple of days. 60 miles an hour wind. Faster. We did it. Oh. We freaking did it. Oh, you guys won't believe where I had to park last night. <laughs> Oh man, still a little rainy, but the wind has died down. It's like a nice sprinkle outside. I'll show you guys. All right, so quick update on the storm. Of course, uh, that is us right there. And we are just getting the last little bit of this band. So 
that big bunch of the storm that's what moved all the way up through last night so now we're just getting this little spin right here so that means for technical purposes i could say we stayed the night on the boat through a hurricane it's pretty legendary not gonna lie all right i guess that's it we can just go home now <laughs> that's all i wanted to do <laughs> on a real note i do want to show you guys the situation for uh last night where we ended up parking so i was out in the middle of the lake um and so i was out in the middle and just waves crashing crashing and i could not get my anchor to hold because we started getting those like 50 mile an hour winds it was pretty ridiculous so uh i have big power poles 10 footers and i put both the power poles down and i put the nose of the boat in like the shore over here like on this cut so the nose is still like actually floating if you watch you can see it kind of like sway back and forth right here but i wanted to kind of get behind this because as you can tell this is where the wind is coming through so i use this whole area of land as kind of like a windbreaker like a natural windbreaker and uh, use the shallowness to my advantage where i just threw the power poles down i trust them a lot didn't even use the front anchor so you can see we're kind of swaying back and forth a little bit heard a couple noises last night uh <laughs> but i think it was just like the flaps of plastic that they got me scared i decided uh worst case scenario i just sink a couple feet and i'll be stuck right here <laughs> it's better than sinking out in the middle or something so i was confident the boat could do it and uh i was right I was confident enough to do it, but I hadn't really like tested it, but um, this built a lot of confidence. It really did. Makes me feel like really, really good about, you know, the build of this boat, the last 10 months we've been working on it. And to be able to spend my first like full adventure on YouTube, like during a hurricane on it pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. Hey, there's a little bird over there. I don't know if you can see it. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of packing up to do. I was going to film, like, loading up the boat and everything, but I think it's you pretty much know how that's going to go. Uh, it's still sprinkling, and I have to get a lot of gear. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun doing something like this. It was, like, kind of cool to just, like, get out of my element a little bit. I've never done anything like this before. And, uh, yeah, I put the boat to the test, and... She did great. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of stuff you want to see on this boat now that you know what it's capable of. I'm not like a storm chaser. I just thought it would be kind of a cool. It was a Cat 1 hurricane. It wasn't like the craziest thing in the world. Still dangerous, but I made the best of it. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm done getting rained on. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. I need to do it with this hand. Peace out. You and I till the end. Ladies and gentlemen, if Jesus was a sandwich, this would be him. Oh, with the pepper jack cheese. Mm -hmm.